Now that you have your very own Blackview Box dash cam, it's time to install the unit and get started with your stealthy dash cam protection. In this video, we'll walk you through the installation of the Blackview DR770X box model with front, interior, and rear facing cameras. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. You'll receive the main box unit, which records your footage from all connected cameras onto an included micro SD memory card. The main unit is powered by the 12 volt auxiliary power adapter or the included hardwiring cable. All dash cams come with cable clips to secure cables in place, as well as spare tape for the camera mounts. You will also find included a pry tool to help with running the cables. To get the most out of Blackview's parking mode, you'll want to use a hardwire installation or external Blackview battery to ensure your dash cam is powered even when you're away from your vehicle. If you prefer a simple 12 volt installation, simply plug the included cable into the 12 volt socket on your vehicle. Now your dash cam will be powered whenever your vehicle's ignition is on. Here's a quick tip before getting started. If you are unsure about the positioning of the cameras, you can wait until after the main unit is powered and the wireless button is paired. This will allow you to use the Blackview app to view through the dash cam in real time so you can find the optimal viewing angle before mounting the cameras to your windshield. Use the provided key to open the lock on the main unit. Press the side release button and pull on the cover to remove it. Then insert the micro SD card. Insert all the cables, including power, coaxial, and USB accessories through the cover slit and connect them to their respective ports. You may want to leave the cover open as you run all the cables. Be sure to insert the angled end of the coaxial video cables into the box ports with the straight end connected to the camera's ports. The front camera cable must be connected to the front camera port. Connecting it to another camera's port will give a warning sound upon powering up. Install the main box unit on the side of the center console or inside the glove compartment. For heavy duty vehicles, the box can also be installed on the luggage shelf. Next, choose a location for the wireless button. You'll want it in a place that's easily accessible and within arm's reach. Let's install the front camera. Find a location behind the rear view mirror and be sure to clean the windshield of any foreign matter. Detach the tamper-proof bracket from the front camera by rotating the screw counterclockwise with the included Allen wrench. Then connect the straight end of the front camera's coaxial cable to the port on the front camera. Align the tamper-proof bracket with the mount bracket. Use the Allen wrench to secure the screw without fully tightening it. Peel off the protective film and attach the front camera to the windshield behind the rear view mirror. Adjust the angle of the lens by rotating the body of the front camera. We recommend pointing the lens slightly downwards to capture the best amount of road and surroundings. Tighten the screw fully. Let's install the infrared driver facing camera. Use the coaxial cable connected to the port labeled Option on the box main unit. Find a spot towards the top of the windshield with an unobstructed view of the interior. Connect the coaxial cable and place the camera using a similar process to the front camera. The lens should be pointed toward the interior of the vehicle. Ensure proper orientation before tightening the screw. Use the pry tool to lift the edges of the rubber window sealing or plastic molding to tuck in the front camera and interior camera connection cables all the way to the box unit. Excess cable can be stored near the box unit. As an important note, when running the cables, be sure not to interfere with the deployment of the airbags. If in doubt, consult a professional. Next, let's install the rear camera. Find a location near the top of the rear windshield and follow the same steps used to install the front and interior camera. When running the rear camera coaxial cable, we recommend starting from the camera and then through the top of the C, B, and A pillars all the way to the box unit near which excess cable can be stored. You can also opt to run the cable along the flooring of your vehicle depending on the location of the box unit. Either way, keep in mind the location of potential airbags and side curtain airbags in particular. With all the cameras connected, let's connect the GNSS module so that the camera can record vehicle location and speed data. Position the GNSS module along the edge of your windshield and run its cable following the method you used for the front and interior camera coaxial cables. We will now show you how to hardwire the dash cam to your vehicle's fuse panel. Start by locating the fuse box inside your vehicle. You can refer to your manual if necessary. This is where you'll connect the hardwiring cable. In the fuse box, locate a fuse with switched power. This means the fuse is only powered when the ignition is on. 
Some examples would be the accessory power socket or audio fuses. Feel free to refer to your vehicle's manual if you're unsure. Use a fuse puller or pliers to remove the fuse. We recommend using fuse taps for more convenience and reliability. Now, attach the red wire of the hardwire kit to one of the fuse taps using a wire crimper or pliers. Insert the switched power fuse into the fuse tap's empty slot. It should be the slot furthest away from the fuse tap's blades. Insert the fuse tap into the same slot where you remove the fuse. Next, locate a constant power fuse. This should be emergency lamps, cabin light, or tail lights. Remove the fuse and insert it into the empty slot of the fuse tap. Attach the yellow wire from the hardwire kit to the fuse tap. Insert the fuse tap into the same slot where you remove the fuse. Finally, secure the wire labeled GND to a metal part of the vehicle's frame to ground the power. You can use the Blackview app to adjust parking mode settings such as voltage cutoff and timer. Now that your dash cam is installed, here are a few tips to get you started. Be sure to download the Blackview app for iOS and Android. You can also install the Blackview viewer for Mac OS and Windows from blackview.com forward slash downloads. Once you have installed the Blackview app, it's time to register the camera and pair the wireless button. In the app, select Add Camera and choose Seamless Pairing. The app will automatically detect your dash cam. Tap on DR770X box. When prompted, press and hold the wireless button until you hear a beep. You're all set to start using your dash cam. For more information, visit blackview.com.